stall has already started to be clean, but with the cow stalls, what we want to do is bring in all of the dirty poop and liquid into a pile into the center. It doesn't mean we're going to take all the sides off. Right now, we might take some because it's mounted up. But all, all this wet <coughs> here needs to be brought into a pile. Always careful to conserve as many dry sheetings as possible, but because this hasn't been done before, see, now here's a beach thing. Mm -hmm. And then we take out. Mm -hmm. And you do not pick up and shake. Yeah, you don't want to start picking up the shade. This is a horse stall technique, but cow poops are different than horse poops. Horse poops lend very well to doing this, because then you end up with a ball of poop. You do it with poop, or cow poop, and you get little crumbs of poop all over the place. So no shaking, <laughs> just poop. Poop in the row. Mm -hmm. And then once you've gotten all the dirty stuff in the middle out... Yeah, well, once we catch up on the cleanliness issue, mm -hmm. getting the stall, because right now it smells strong of ammonia. Mm -hmm. So once we catch up on the smell factor mm -hmm. and the cleanliness factor, um, I'm going to need that bottle of... Well, actually I need the broom first, and then that white bottle that's on the... Oh. So what should be done is wherever it's wet, mm -hmm. especially where it's wet and poopy, you should sweep it as best as possible because mm -hmm. it's like glue. Mm -hmm. you, I scrape it with my foot when, it, when it's, I know some people aren't going to want to do that, but I scrape it with my foot to get the chunkies up. <laughs> and this stall isn't too bad. The other one was a lot wetter. But when you get to a point where it's really wet and gummy and it doesn't want to come up, I use the side of the broom because oh. it bites in more. Mm -hmm. If you use the flat part of the broom, unless you're wicked muscular and mm -hmm. can really dig in, which I can't. Could you also use a shovel to scrape up the bits? Well, it's because of the construction of What's, um, if you look at the stall, once you sweep, and if you look at the construction of the stall, this mm -hmm. is like a carpet over, you can liken it to the inner tubes that float in a pool, mm -hmm. these tubes not filled with air, but it's filled with recycled tires, mm -hmm. so they're tubes, so it tends to be lumpy, like wavy, okay. so if you shovel, if you think shoveling it, is gonna do it. You can try, but mm -hmm. it's gonna leave chunk in the ridges. Mm -hmm. So sweeping is the way to go. Mm -hmm. But like I said, once we catch up on the, how we do this, if we all do it the same way, mm -hmm. then we won't have to do it so much, mm -hmm. and we won't have to powder so much. So you're gonna once spray to something it, down? I'm not gonna spray it. Oh, okay. And another thing, I try to get as much as I can forked out. Mm -hmm. Sounds so long, forked out. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> because that's got to be cleaned up outside the stall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get it past this little ridge, mm -hmm. if you just do this, you're going to obviously have a mound that you can't get out, but if mm -hmm. you sweep on the diagonal, ah, you okay, it out nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Because once, once you have the stall done and you're outside the stall, this is all going to be cleaned up. You're going to take what eventually will be clean shavings, and you're going to go along the edge and bring it into the middle.
technique in shredding earthworms. This actually is a technique that's used in earthworms. So all the piles against the wall are coming into the middle. All what will eventually be relatively cheap. If I went through and checked it all, you've got little crumbs of paper that are coming out. Mm -hmm. And that's because everybody just keeps from the middle and it mounts up on the edges and mm -hmm. everything goes out through the edges. Everything is the water bucket. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> come back, come back. Don't go away. Don't go away. Oh, you were done. I'm going to get the water bucket wet now. Mm. Which that won't smell like ammonia, but it'll smell like bowls. Mm -hmm. One more after that, please. Right away. <laughs> How long can you record for? Okay. Hopefully. Oh, I'm going to get anal here. I told myself. So eventually there won't be any poops. Nothing. Like I could just pick forever and I'll find poops. But you get this pretty well evened out. Now that this is all evened out, you're going to take your fresh shavings wherever you need to go. Now you can take the wheel down. <laughs> all righty. Sorry. I know I'm in the way. I'm going to stop the recording here and then we'll